Okay, here's where I'm ending it. I got the handle grip on. Well, just a makeshift handle grip, but just a piece of heater hose till I get some good retro ones. Uh, levers on. Get that much travel in it. I got it set up, hooked into there. Okay. Piece made out of uh, old handbrake lever from a 10 speed and it's down to here it's got a 3 to 1 ratio it multiplies it three times the pull and then I just took a piece off of a handbrake caliper and cut it and I drilled the hole here and it's pivoting on there and then I got the cable pulling here and then the cable down here and that's, that's about one inch and that's almost three inches there and then uh, it's hooked to the chain right there, it's clamped. And the chain wraps around a sprocket. I put a bigger sprocket on. I went back to the bigger one. And it's got my ratio pretty good. Chain comes back around the back here. And it's hooked to the spring. And then when you pull it, it pulls the sprocket. You can see the movement there. And the spring pulls it back and when you let's see if I can get you okay, let me set this camera up okay you can see So, you can see, it does grab, ain't as good as I would like, but it does work. I do have to get a different, uh, different set of handlebars. These are for a, a double uh, gooseneck, and I, I got a single, I put a little shim in there, but it's not doing the job. But that's it. I'm going to wrap this project up right here for now. I may make improvements on that later. Got to get me another set of handlebars. Handle grips. Got a lot of little things I want to add to it. But for right now, uh, actually it needs a bath more than anything. Uh, Got to get some uh, bleach wipe for these tires. But that's it. So I'm going to start on something different here. And I'm going to hang this project up for, for the meantime. Any All right, so that wraps up this project. Uh, for now, anyways. So uh, I'm not going to uh, spend much any more time on it. Yeah, maybe later I'll play with it a little bit more. But I do. I still got a lot of work to do on that bike. It's a, definitely a uh, work in progress. So anyways, until the next project, uh, uh, see you then. Bye. Okay, here's where I'm ending it. I got the handle grip on. Well, just a makeshift handle grip, but just a piece of heater hose till I get some good retro ones. Uh, levers on. Get that much travel in it. I got it set up, hooked into there. Okay. Piece made out of uh, old handbrake lever. From a 10 speed and it's down to here it's got a three to one ratio it multiplies it three times the pull and then I just took a piece off of a handbrake caliper and cut it and I drilled the hole here and it's pivoting on there and then I got the cable pulling here and then the cable down here and that's that's about one inch and that's almost three inches there and then uh, it's hooked to the chain right there. It's clamped. And the chain wraps around the sprocket. I put a bigger sprocket on. I went back to the bigger one. And it's got my ratio pretty good. Chain comes back around the back here. And it's hooked to the spring. And then when you pull it, it pulls the sprocket. You can see the movement there. 
and the spring pulls it back. And when you, let's see if I can get you, okay, let me set this camera up. Okay, here's where I'm ending it. I got the handle grip on. Well, it's just a makeshift handle grip, but just a piece of heater hose till I get some good retro ones. Uh, levers on. Get that much travel in it. I got it set up, hooked into there. And piece made out of uh, old right handbrake lever from a 10 speed. And it's down to here. It's got a 3 to 1 ratio. It multiplies it three times the pull. And then I just took a piece off of a handbrake caliper and cut it and I drilled the hole here and it's pivoting on there and then I got the cable pulling here and then the cable down here and that's that's about one inch and that's almost three inches there and then uh, it's hooked to the chain right there it's clamped and the chain wraps around the sprocket I put a bigger sprocket on I went back to the bigger one and it's got my ratio pretty good Chain comes back around the back here, and it's hooked to the spring. And then when you pull it, it pulls the sprocket. You can see the movement there. And the spring pulls it back. And when you, let's see if I can get you, okay, let me set this camera up. Okay, here's where I'm ending it. I got the handle grip on. Well, it's just a makeshift handle grip, but just a piece of heater hose till I get some good retro ones. Uh, levers on. Get that much travel in it. I got it set up, hooked into there. And piece made out of uh, old handbrake lever from a 10 speed. And it's down to here. It's got a 3 to 1 ratio. It multiplies it three times, the pull. And then I just took a piece off of a handbrake caliper and cut it. And I drilled a hole here and it's pivoting on there. And then I got the cable pulling here and the cable down here. And that's, that's about one inch and that's almost three inches there. And then, uh, it's hooked to the chain right there. It's clamped. And the chain wraps around the sprocket. I put a bigger sprocket on. I went back to the bigger one. And it's got my ratio pretty good. Chain comes back around the back here. And it's hooked to the spring. And then when you pull it, it pulls the sprocket. You can see the movement there. And the spring pulls it back. And when you, let's see if I can get you, okay, let me set this camera up. 